I want to uh, say hello and thank you for coming to uh, Jose Alejandro and uh, Nancy Abkamp. Now we get to the tough part. My job is to tie all this together as well as give the uh, the history of the, the canine unit. Dogs do speak, but only to those who know how to listen. That's a favorite quote of mine that was told to me years ago, and I always keep it in mind as a canine handler. I found this to be true no matter if I'm handling a police dog or enjoying time with my hunting dogs, my pet dogs, whatever it is I'm doing with a dog, <coughs> which anybody that knows me, I'm always with a dog. We are lucky to be a part of a community that understands the importance of dogs in our lives. It is a well-known fact that the dog positively affects our health and longevity for those who listen. This is just one of the many gifts our dogs give to us with no strings attached. People often talk about the relationship between a working dog and the handler. They speak of this relationship, but only a small minority get up get of us, see I told you a little something, of us get to experience it and truly understand this phenomenon. Golf man or canine handler Matt Haverkamp was one of those people with canine Tebow. After Matt's passing in July of 05, Matt and Tebow's family have kept their legacy alive with the Matt Haverkamp Foundation. Since then, the foundation has provided nearly 100 police canines to police departments in the greater Cincinnati area. The city of Loveland has received three of those dogs. Officer Jose Alejandro, he's getting the stink eye, <laughs> started the Loveland Canine Program in 1999. When he asked Chief Reese if the police department could start a canine program, Chief Reese told Officer Alejandro, if you raise the funds, we'll get a dog. If anybody here knew Chief Reese, you know that was his way of saying no without having to say no. <laughs> anybody that knows Officer Alejandro also knows that no is not an acceptable answer. 23 years later, here I am talking about the history of the Loveland Canine Program. So thanks, Jose. Without his dedication and tenacity, going to local leaders and businesses and raising the funds needed, we would not have had Canine Argo, Loveland's first police dog. <clears throat> Argo was the classic police dog that everyone envied. He was smart, obedient, and the definition of loyal. Smart and obedient. Hey. <laughs> People in the canine world still speak highly of Argo all these years later. And that's very true. That just happened last week at, at training. We were talking about Argo. Loveland could not have asked for a better dog to start the Loveland Canine Program. Argo served until 2007. Canine Azar, also handled by Officer Alejandro, was a fierce and intense dog. While helping Jose, with the training of Azar, he was one of the only dogs that really made me question my life choices and career goals. <laughs> In the end, Azar cemented those for me, as I'm sure he did for Jose too. Azar served from 2007 to 2015. Azar was Loveland's first dog funded by the Matt Haverkamp Foundation. In 2015, along came Canine Mac. Mac was my first police dog. I can talk for hours and hours about Mac, his successes, and mostly my failures. We have many stories to tell. Some of those will have to always stay between Mac and I, though. Sorry. <laughs> Known as Big Mac, he's the perfect combination of Ag Argo and Azar. Fierce when he needed to be, but had no problems being gentle in the classroom with curious children. Also funded by the Matt Haverkamp Foundation, K9 Mac served from tw 2015 to 2022. Currently, we have K9 Cruz, who will be out here in a little bit, walking around, meeting and greeting people. K9 Cruz is the 83rd dog funded by the Matt Haverkamp Foundation. Cruz joined the Loveland Police Department just before Christmas, this, this past Christmas. Cruz has already had drug arrest and apprehension of a felony suspect to his credit. Cruz has huge paws to fill, both literally and figuratively, but he's well on his way. All the Loveland K9s have been at Excellent examples of the classic good boy we like to be in our own dogs. They have kept us safe in many ways. Some ways can't be quanti quantified with statistics. Sorry for the city council being counted for types. 
literally they saved lives, less than man hours, found those were lost, some just for not to be found. They've ended fights sometimes before they even began and have taken poison off our streets. All we had to do was just listen. I'm excited to be a part of giving back the gift to dogs in the community with a nice fence and a huge area to run, a place where dogs are safe to be dogs and not listen. Foundation is to continue Matt's legacy and keep his memory alive by supporting law enforcement agencies throughout Greater Cincinnati. Through donations and fundraising events, the Foundation purchases canine officers and provides the protective equipment they need to safely serve their community. The City of Loveland's canine program was built from scratch by Officer Jose Alejandro and his canine partner Argo. In 2007, the City began working with the Matt Haberkamp Foundation to cure, secure the City's second canine, Azar. Because of the generosity and support of the Matt Haberkamp Foundation, the City of Loveland has been able to continue its canine program for decades. This park is dedicated to all canines and their handlers who serve the Loveland community and the greater Cincinnati area thanks to the Matt Haberkamp Foundation. So that will be here eventually. In addition, there's going to be something like this for each of our canines that has their picture, their name, and their date of service. So that will all be here when uh, when we get to that, we're working on it, working on the design and the, and the 